In this video, we will uncover the key to make the law of attraction works for you. The definition of the law of attraction basically says that you will attract anything you think about. I truly believe that if you apply the law of attraction right, then the law really works. There are probably an infinite amount of examples, ways, scenarios, questions, problems that someone could go to disapproving the law of attraction. For example, money and financial freedom are probably one of the most important, most talked about issue in our human lives. It is something that affects all of us in ways and how our current situation is. It is something that most everyone needs and wants to have. So taking the law of attraction into this, I would probably imagine the most common conflicting question one would ask might be, if someone sits in a chair all day and manifests thoughts about making a million dollars, will he or she ever get it? Well from a practical perspective, the answer becomes quite obvious. No. If one sits in a chair all day and does not take action then it will be impossible for them to make a million dollars because they are doing nothing. In a practical objective world, the law is that actions produce results. Would you disagree with that? I take the time to pick lemons from a tree, make lemonade, then set up and stand and sell a drink to someone passing by for one dollar. The action I took to selling lemonade produced the result which was making one dollar. I mean if the law of attraction worked wouldn't everybody started getting what they wanted? All you would have to think about is what you want and it will start gravitating to you via universe or genie. However, thousands of people complain that they are thinking about what they want, but aren't getting it. I'm attracting weight loss in my life but I'm still overweight. I'm attracting love in my life but I'm still single. I'm attracting a new car in my life but I still drive my old, junky car. I'm attracting happiness, but no matter what I always feel depressed. These are all legit reasons and I understand why people would be in awe or praise the law of attraction but end up finding themselves in a conflicting, frustrating situation. I used to be the same way thinking, hey if I can use the law of attraction, I can attract anything in my life and Viola, I'll get it. But nothing ever happened and I got frustrated saying the law doesn't work, it sucks, etc. The truth is the law of attraction is meant to be a tool to help you get what you want, it's not some genie that pops out of nowhere and hands you what you want. But there are some times where you will get what you want instantly using the law of attraction I'm a practical person myself. I believe that when you do something, something happens. When you add one and one, you get two. And if you don't take action, unfortunately, you won't get results no matter how hard you think about getting what it is that you want. You may get lucky, and somehow it may be delivered to you someday, but why would you take the risk letting something outside of your being control when you get things? That's silly. Do you want to wait 5 years until you get a new car? Do you want to wait 10 years before you attract a loving spouse? Not really, right? In today's society, humans want to have instant gratification for whatever they want, they want it now. That's why the law of attraction in the past few years has been so popular. It has almost brainwashed the entire new culture of people to believe that by using the law of attraction, we can more or less get what we want quickly without doing anything. This sounds good. The truth is the law of attraction, more or less, operates as a law in subjective reality. This means the law works actually work in one's mind. I would say that the law of attraction is absolutely everything in one's mind because one might argue that everything in the universe from your perspective, or anyone else's perspective, is just a thought, a thought, that's all it is. What does this exactly mean? It means that anything you are thinking about, at any second, is exactly what you are getting. Now you may laugh and say, I already knew that, as I first did when someone told me about the law of attraction and how whatever you think, you are getting. I didn't believe it because I started to put everything into question, especially, from an objective and materialistic standpoint. Why am I not getting this? And this, usually was with something materialistic, a t-shirt, money, better grades, etc. And even from an emotional standpoint like why am I not getting happiness or joy, it was just a completely wrong approach. It was until months to a year later where I thought about the law of attraction it absolutely works wonders in subjective reality. And when I got it, it just clicked. Being a practical person, it actually felt awe-inspiring, but scary at the same time. Why didn't I think about this before? 
And how you need to treat the law of attraction should form a subjective standpoint, because if you try to put it from an objective standpoint, I can almost guarantee that you will get frustrated and nothing will make sense. So how does this work? It's just what is stated above. Anything you are thinking about, you are getting. To really understand, you should always keep this in your mind, be conscious of what you are thinking about at the moment. If you think about it, it makes total sense in a different way, not in a mathematical way or in a practical way. It's outside of that. 1 plus 1 equals 2, but in this reality, 1 plus 1 equals anything you want it to be. If you think 1 plus 1 equals 3, then it equals 3. You are attracting 3, and you are getting 3. Stop trying to make sense of it because if you say, it's impossible for 1 plus 1 to equal 3, then that's exactly what you are getting. If you think it's impossible then it is impossible and you are right. If you try to solve this problem, and you become frustrated, then you are getting frustrated. You are attracting frustration, and you are creating your own frustration. Does this make sense? Physical things that happen in your life and the law of attraction are not a function of each other. They are two different worlds, and it's important that you step outside of the box. Think of everything in your life as a thought. This shouldn't be scary, even though it freaked me out at first, but it's worth experimenting because if you get the law of attraction down, your way of going about things about life will change dramatically. For the better or for the worse, that's up to you. If you can have anything in the world or be anything in the world, which option would you want to pick? So now you understand that the law of attraction works in a subjective reality, meaning that your current thought at this very moment is exactly what you are getting then you can use it as a powerful, powerful tool to applying it in the objective world, an objective world where physical things become your reality because that is what you have truly chosen. Let's take a look at the examples from the previous. If someone told me. I'm attracting weight loss in my life but I'm still overweight. I would answer, okay. That's exactly what you are getting then. You are overweight because you just said it. And even if you really didn't believe that yourself, are you really attracting weight loss? Or are you just attracting the words, weight, and, loss? If you're attracting the weight loss, maybe you are getting weight loss but just not in the way that you thought you would. And if you really thought about the true meaning of weight loss, you wouldn't be sitting here doing nothing. You would take action. In addition, you should be attracting the action it takes that leads to weight loss such as running on a treadmill, going to the gym, eating healthy, etc. If someone told me. I'm attracting love in my life but I'm still single. I would answer, it's a good thing that you are intending love in your life. Be patient and ask yourself are you really thinking about attracting love in your life or do you feel any doubt that you can or cannot? Is there something from the past that has made you want this and are you carrying thoughts from that past into your being right now? You need to eliminate all negative thoughts. In addition, thinking about being a loving person or a person that easily can be loved by others will help you find love. You will get there. If someone told me. I'm attracting a new car in my life but I still drive my old, junky car. I would answer, well, stop imagining yourself ever driving your old, junky car if you have any thoughts about that. Every time you are driving your car, you should be imagining yourself driving the car you want. If you keep having those dominant thoughts, your feelings will take over and you will start to take action to get the car you want. If someone told me. I'm attracting happiness, but no matter what I always feel depressed. I would say, are you really attracting happiness, or are you saying you are attracting happiness but really inside you are feeling depressed? There is no faking happiness. If you feel any, any sort of doubt that you are not happy, then that is what you will get. Sometimes you will be able to change your emotions just by thinking about your thoughts instantly and that is what you will attract. However, you must realize that they have to be your dominating thoughts and you have to have faith and patience that happiness will eventually come to you. If you really think about it, it is truly what you want, your body will take action subconsciously. The results will come to you when you know what it is that you want. You can make it an easy path by attracting an easy path or a hard path by attracting a hard path. If you are groaning right now because you didn't like that answer, then I can't stop you that has just become your reality. But if you think hey maybe this makes sense and may help you, then it will or anything else you think about from what you just read then it is.
Your answer does not affect me, it is only affecting you. I just want to get the message out to you to be conscious of you to have the ability to choose, intend, and manifest whatever it is you want in life. It's a cross path between subjective reality and objective reality that's why the law of attraction is so hard to explain for people who don't get it. I hope you start to think, really think about every single thing that goes on in your life, and takes a moment to step back and realize that you are attracting or getting what you are currently thinking about. This is the Positive Earth Channel. And if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.